Hey guys, it's that time of the year again to get drunk and complete challenges while being drunk in Sea of Thieves. Today the third Grog Monet event has started and it comes with challenges to be able to get your third notch on the Grog Monet tankard or for the new pirates among us for being able to unlock the special tankard. The event will be live from December the 13th until January the 2nd. First and for all, with the festive days around and New Year coming up, we would like to thank everyone who's been here supporting the channel. It really means a lot. You people are the best. Now let's start with the video. The event comes with 6 challenges for you to complete to get your tankard or third notch. The good news is, you only need to complete 4 out of 6 for it. And of course, you'll also be earning the Grog Monet flag and some special firework by doing these. Keep in mind that you can only complete these challenges by being drunk, so that means you'll need to drink at least 3 tankards of Grog to make sure it counts. Now let's go on with the challenges themselves and with some hints on how to complete them. A staggering success. For this one you'll need to dig up two chests while being drunk. So you have to get a voyage to get X mark the spot maps. To make your life easier you'll need to try to find a map with X's on a small island. Once you have one, go to the island and drink three tankards of grog. Take an extra with you and make your way to the digging spot. Then dig up the chest and the challenge should be complete. For the next challenge, dropping the ball, you'll need to shoot a cannonball while being drunk at an enemy ship. The good part is, you don't exactly have to do this at another pirate ship. Luckily you can also complete this by shooting a skeleton ship. So check the horizon for a skeleton ship, then try to park near it and you can even harpoon them to make it easier. Because shooting that cannonball while being drunk is not that easy. Once you've hit them one time, you'll have completed the challenge. Next up is Drowned Sorrows. For this one, you need to kill 3 ocean crawlers. They usually can be found really easy at random islands. Best way is to sail around the islands and check if you see one. Once you've spotted them, park your ship get drunk and fight them. For the next challenge, sick burn, you'll need to defeat 10 skeletons by using firebombs. You can easily do this by searching an active skeleton fort or by doing an order of souls bounty voyage. We recommend for this one that you use a voyage that you can buy from the order of souls. The reason for that is that we've noticed by doing this challenge if you stack up the skeletons and throw a firebomb, it will only count for one or two of them. So the best way is to keep them separate and throw the firebomb one by one. Before you start this one, you'll better get your hands on 10 firebombs and make your way to the island from your voyage and start bombing them one by one to speed up the progress. Next challenge is dinner and drinks. For this one you'll need to capture a snake, pig and chicken while being drunk. Best tip we can give is to do this on small islands. The pigs and chickens run away so this can be really frustrating trying to capture them while you're drunk. So check out some maps on the internet from which island holds which animals. Last challenge is Chunder the Sea. For this one you need to kill a shark while being drunk. Best way to do this is to go to shipwrecks and swim around the place until you have a shark on you. You can also do this in open sea but they spawn way slower then. Once a shark is there, you swim back onto your ship and this time you'll need to drink 4 or 5 grogs before you jump into the water. The reason why you need to drink more than 3 is that you're going to be sobering up by entering the water. So drink 4 or even 5 of them and kill the shark. It takes 4 pistol shots to kill it. So this was a quick guide about the Grogmanet event. 
we'd like to wish everyone a happy new year and hope to see you in 2023. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give a like. Thanks for watching and see you in 2023! Shiver me timbers! Yarr.